Hello, John Britt here. Today we're going to show you how to make a deflocculated slip, or sometimes called a thickened slip. could also be called a joining slip. Okay, so here is some clay that I have been using. It's a porcelain from my uh, throwing. And uh, you can see how thick it is. But now, if I were to put that onto a pot, uh, it looks thick, but when it dries, it'll shrink because there's so much water in it. And you won't get a raised line. Sometimes they call this trailing slip, too. Because you would trail a line, and then when you fired it, it would remain high. But in this case, because there's so much water, it'll just shrink. So what we're trying to do is supersaturate that so that it'll stay high. Okay, so what we normally do with that, we'll put in some, this is called Darvan 811. Now you can use sodium silicate and soda ash, or Darvan 7, but this is just what I have and it works great. So you can watch in here now. And see how thick that is? Now watch when I put in just a little bit of this Darvan 811. How it becomes very becomes the water, completely thinned out water. And so what that is doing is you have a particle of clay that's hexagonal and you have water in between it. And the water makes it plastic, allows it to move around. But when you uh, put in a Darvan 811, that's uh, like a uh, base and that will cause the particles to repel one another. They'll become the same charge and they will repel. Uh, as opposed to flocculation, which is where they're opposite and they will attract each other. Okay, so now just to uh, illustrate that, what I'll do is take some of this out. And now I've got some, here is some Epsom salts and water. I have two tablespoons of Epsom salts in a cup of water. And I just let that dissolve. Now you're going to be able to see, see how thin that is? Now when I add a few drops of this, you can see quickly that will thicken back up. That is how some some people will make their thick and slip. They will deflocculate it and add a little bit of the uh, Epsom salts to bring it uh, up to a thick and slip. But what I like to do, I'm pretty simple, I like to add more clay. That way I know I have the same amount of water in approximately twice as much clay. So you can see here now, that this is why I'm doing this outside. You're going to stand back a second. What I'm going to do is put this mask on because it's pretty dusty. And that's why I did this outside is so we didn't have to breathe a bunch of dust. Okay. 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 All right. So now you can see how we've added quite a bit more clay to that. It's pretty thick. Now, if I uh, could, I would just allow this to sit for a while and then stir it. It would absorb water again. But what I normally now will do is once again, because I've added more clay, I can add more deflocculant. And that will then allow me to get this stirred up better. Okay. So you can see how now we've added more clay and we're still thin. So I would then again, I would then add more clay and get and stir that again until I got it thick. Now what it will eventually look like, and what my dry material that I'm adding is trimming scraps that I uh, from my tr uh, trimming that I have um, kind of ground up. But here's what it looks like. This is how I keep it stored. I keep a little plastic on there, and when it's done, it's going to look like this. This is a what, you know, the kind of slip like Stephen Hill and other people who do... Uh, you know, raised slip decorations. And what I can do with this is even uh, attach handles on my porcelain with this by just dipping them in. And you, uh, you saw how solid this was 
when I opened it, but then you can see once it gets moving, it gets more fluid, so that's called thixotropic. Okay, I hope I've explained that well, and the next thing we'll come back to you on is a uh, uh, flocculation uh, test. I'll show you that next time. All right, we'll see you later.